thank you very much uh, for the introduction, Lucinio. Well, let me start. Okay, my name is uh, Xavier Garcia. I'm uh, the commercial director of uh, IC Cruise Technology. And uh, IST is a, a technology provider uh, which is uh, uh, specialized in the cruise industry. Um, we design solutions for enabling travel agencies to book cruises online. Regarding cruises, some figures from Sea Trade's publication last year. As you can see, uh, we realize that the cruise capacity is multiplying in the forthcoming years, okay? From to, uh, 25 million passengers in 2017 to 40 million passengers in 2030. The expectation growth then is, uh, uh, is very big and uh, the question mark is, how are you going to manage the increasing demand of cruises? Don't worry at all. Um, be happy. We'll be here for assisting you, for helping you with our tools that uh, thereafter I will introduce, which are Naveo, this one, Cruise Browser, this one, and FIBOS, or FIBOS, which is an acronym, which is I've lost, sorry. Okay. Let's start with Naveo. Naveo is a web solution, okay? Then with uh, Naveo is a very friendly and uh, also intuitive tool for the travel agencies. With Naveo, we achieve the travel agency achieve to the automation of the process for booking cruises in a very easy way. Then Cruise Browser. Cruise Browser is a B2B solution. Then with a Cruise Browser, uh, allow to big groups or, or travel agencies with uh, associate companies or agencies, sub-agencies, affiliates, etc to uh, provide uh, also automation. And uh, even though it seems to be difficult, it is clear that we make complexity easy. Regarding Fibos or Fibos, uh, is an XML integration which implies that, uh, of course, you can customize 100% your uh, cruise engine. Uh, these are some examples of uh, well-known travel engines, OTAs, which are already using our tools. Uh, until the last year, we had until 2,100 integrations through more than 60 countries worldwide. Well, let me also uh, show the uh, cruise lines uh, of our portfolio which will be increased in additional six new ones to be joined in 2018, uh, surely uh, before second semester of the year. And uh, finally, let me summarize what uh, I uh, previously explained to you regarding Navio as a web solution for travel agencies, cruise browser, a B2B solution, and uh, Fibos for XML integration uh, for a specific travel agencies. This is the website of the company, uh, and in case you have any uh, interest, you can go through, or you can try to contact me as well. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you very much. Just, uh, don't just uh, don't leave so early. We'll have to torture you a bit. Um, well, thanks very much for your your presentation. It was brief and and, and, and to the point. I just uh, as I said before, for early, any further further questions, we we would be willing to stay there. Are there any questions from the audience that you'd like to did you, urgent questions that you'd like to 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 throw to 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 um, Xavier? Just in that case. Um, Xavier, which, which, for which type of agency are your, your tools, uh, uh, which are your, your targeted customers? Um, because, I mean, you, you, you're, you're targeting the cruise market, and that's, that's a growing market, but what, what, what are you okay. your target audience? It's a, a very good question. Uh, the fact is that uh, uh, we can uh, provide our tools to any kind of uh, travel agency. Uh, our tools are, can be adapted to uh, even a small, a small travel agency as well as big OTAs uh, travel agency. As I mentioned before, uh, our tools uh, are uh, presently in more than 60 countries and are, uh, all are multi-language, multi-currency and also multi-market. Okay. Well, thank you very much. For any further thank information you. about technical details, which can, you can contact Javier directly. Second, we have just our, our second firm. It's um, it's um, travel compositor, and we have Isabel Carranza just to the stage. Please. Hi. Good morning. I'm here to tell you what do, what we do at Travel Compositor. We are focused on developing and improving a software called TravelC. And this software, what does is uh, it covers all, this, all the links of the chain of the travel sales uh, management. That's why we call it the only holistic travel sales system. What exactly includes? Uh, of course, you can sell online and also manage all the details of every booking. You can load your own contracts and you can combine it with the rest of XML suppliers. You can also generate analytic and financial reports to improve your strategies. You can uh, generate invoices and manage the markups and the commissions and for the financial part. And of course, you can uh, use it to uh, attack any uh, channel that you can imagine. You, you can do B2B, you can do B2C, you can do both at the same time, and since the, you, the system is super user-friendly, you can um, make the final clients to sell to other final clients. That's what we call that we can do C2C as well. Uh, basically, it's an all-in-one tool with amazing, unique, unique features such as the multi-destination booking engine, which allows you to package as many travel services as you can imagine into any itinerary. Um, it doesn't matter how many complex it's, it is. It, with this tool, it will be easy. And uh, as I told you before, the, the, the interface is super user-friendly. It's super intuitive. From the first minute, you have an intuition of what you can do with the software. The second um, main feature we have is the multi-pack engine, which allows you excuse me, to offer any combination of packages. It doesn't matter if it's the 100% dynamic package. It doesn't matter if it's the 100% fixed package, or even the the ability to combine fixed and dynamic services into one package. And moreover, this solution has a, a really good up and cross selling option because after selecting the package, you can include as many pre-tours and as many post-tours as you want. Also for the final client as well. And um, as you can see, the combinations are endless. It's a really powerful tool. And last but not least, our most recently uh, included uh, feature, which is the ability to include apartments and houses in the system, combine it or not with the hotels to 
um, expand your offer of accommodation. And um, of course, if you want to belong to this trend, um, uh, this tool will help you to differentiate from your competitors. Um, we really, oops, excuse me, all, um, we have won uh, startup contests in the past, but what we really um, uh, makes us proud of us is the trust of more than 100 clients in more than 40 countries worldwide. And who are our clients? Who can benefit of this amazing software? Absolutely anyone who sells any kind of travel service. It doesn't matter if you are a tour operator, an OTA, or maybe you are the administrator of a thematic website and you want to offer uh, trips. Our solution is, can be adapted to your needs. Thank you so much. If you want to find out more about Travel Compositor, I strongly recommend you to visit our public online demo right now, online.travelcompositor.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, just. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That was very impressive. Just uh, I, I know the tool and it's, in, it's incredible. It's, it's been growing up exponentially since um, since the beginning. They, they you've won very many awards and you, you you are spread all over the world and you just gain in gain in market. But any any questions from the from the audience? No questions and just uh, so you are you just spread all over the world. But uh, are you, are there any specific? geographic locations that you are intended to, to expand now to? Well, we have recently opened a commercial office in Hong Kong, so Asia is our next uh, milestone. Okay, good luck. And uh, just, uh, just, uh, thank you very much. So you'll have the opportunity. Thank you very much, Isabel. Just uh, let, let me ask another question. Um, you, are, you have a product that offers almost everything, and you have clients that um, have a lot of different demands. Um, how do you focus in your, let's say, uh, sales activities, marketing activities? Because I, I, I took a look at the slide, and maybe anybody else did that too, uh, and said, "Oh, there's a lot of possibilities." But how do you, how do you, do you make uh, actually sales? What is your focus? So you focus on sales, or you're just going around, "You need me, you need me, you need me." So you are saying, how can you be a solution for each player, despite we are general? The, uh, the, um, the reason is that the system is so flexible that we can adapt the booking flow to the needs of every client. If you are focused on a specific type of product, of course, we will sell first your product and later in cross-selling the rest of travel services. But if you sell the whole chain, of all the links of the chain, then you need, uh, uh, you will use the, the general booking flow, which is first the transportations, later the hotels, later the activities, later the car rentals and the transfers, and so on. Great, sounds a little bit like magic, and uh, congratulations to your very fast growing product, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's it's a kind of magic. Of course, it's a kind of magic, but just uh, believe me, it works. It is. Sorry, you, you have a you have. A hey, I just want to. I just want to say we are one of the clients. Um, good, good. We we didn't pay for this. We didn't uh, pay for this. I just, just want to say we are one of the clients of Travel Compositor. Um, we are a travel agency in Oman, and uh, once I got the software and we started working with it, it's super friendly. And the support team, I really appreciate it at their company because, uh, well, they make life really easy for us. And actually, I'm at ITB Berlin right now using our own software provided by them. And whatever you want to just uh, specialize for yourself, they are going to add like filtering programs and a lot of abilities that you would just enjoy. You as a travel agency and your clients. I just want to congratulate you. Well done, great job. I love you. Thank you very much. I promise you we didn't pay for this. Uh, just uh, This I didn't. I don't know what just about that. Uh, but the, the, the best thing you can do is just go and, and, and 
take a demo. Just have a look at it. Just that, uh, you don't have to trust us. I wouldn't trust myself, but uh, um, you don't have to trust us. So um, we have the, the, the our next speaker is a, is a young rocker, and um, Sebastián Briones, um, just from Pipeside, uh, Pipeline Solutions. Fantastic. Hello, thank you, Lucinio. I am Sebastián Briones. I am the CEO and founder of Pipeline Software. We are an IT company from Spain, um, and uh, we are here to present our products. Um, let me talk to you. We, I've, we've been asked to be as brief as possible in our exposition, so I will try to. Uh, okay, the facts are we are a 29-year-old uh, uh, startup in Spain, learning uh, every year from our customers. Uh, we have over 4,000 customers all over the world, but mostly in 10 countries. Uh, more than 40 people working with us, and two offices, our main headquarters are in Castellón, and a delegation in Madrid also. From our years of experience, we have been working in several tools, and uh, now we think we are a good provider for solutions when a travel agency has a project uh, and they want to sell their, uh, pro their products in a personalized way, uh, not just the uh, generic type of sale of, uh, the, uh, that an OTA may have, but a personalized product for uh, maybe hotel chains or, or maybe uh, destination management, uh, where they want a complete solution that has their website with a personalized uh, appearance, with a booking flow, a special personalized appearance, uh, with their multi-language uh, platform, uh, uh, multi-currency, uh, web responsive, and they're uh, looking for something that can be done in a uh, four, six uh, weeks. And uh, okay, that needs to be connected uh, to a uh, tool like our booking engine, where they have all their direct contracts, XML integrations, and all the products that they really want to sell. Uh, it doesn't matter that just uh, touristic services like transfers, activities, hotels, flights, etc. But also they can uh, sell their uh, guidebooks, uh, their uh, maybe souvenirs, or any other type of product uh, as a cross-selling with their own products. Okay, so in the booking engine, they have their direct contracts, uh, XML integrations, and they uh, connect that to their website. Okay, and after that, and uh, may, uh, maybe the most important part of the chain, but and sometimes when uh, someone comes to uh, present their projects, they are they have very clear what they want to sell, how they want to sell it. Um, but when we talk about the administration part and all the part of, for the uh, internal reports and how they're going to pay their suppliers and how they are going to do their accountancy, back office, etc., uh, it's like, oh, I haven't thought about that. Okay, and <laughs> that's uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, in some cases projects where uh, the margins are not uh, so big, so it's important for them to. Uh, uh, for every booking being done in the booking engine through their websites or manually through their, their booking department, uh, to have all bookings uh, registered and uh, with their provision for costs and, and all their accountancy done automatically. Okay, and that's what we provide. Uh, can show you. Okay, this is the whole chain, and I can show you some of the pro projects for some of our customers, like uh, Abreu, uh, where they, they, they do a very nice uh, uh, dynamic packaging uh, with flights, uh, transfers, uh, uh, accommodation, plus insurance. Uh, Holiday Republic, a uh, uh, good uh, customer of us in Turkey. Um, Aran Experience, with the, they, are, they are doing a very good, very nice promotion for the Aran destination where they have uh, lots of activities, uh, hotels and uh, any kind of uh, um, uh, activity that can be done in the, in the area. Uh, uh, Cordoba La Carta, which is a DMO also. Uh, Mundo Amigo, where they create their own uh, products, uh, they have their circuits, they, are th they have their special travels, uh, hotels, etc. And they do sell the whole thing, uh, B2C or B2B, uh, in any, any uh, design. Okay, so uh, every day 
we keep on uh, solving our customers' daily matters and trying to help and learning from our customers and trying to offer them uh, the best we can do. Uh, we'll be happy to attend you, as uh, Luthinio said, in uh, uh, 6.1, stand 106. Thank you. Just uh, don't go. I love this guy. Just I have to tell you, I love this guy. Just uh, he comes up and he says, "We are we are a 29 years old startup," and uh, he says it like that. Just uh, usually, it, um, the 29 years is the the, the 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 average age of the people that are working in startups. But uh, they, they say, "I'm just," uh, and he said that with his humility, and he says um, uh, he's so humble. We've been. He knows everything about the the, 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 the business. He's been there for 29 years, and. Um, I thought in the beginning you were in the plumbing business, just your pipeline, just I thought, but this is, this is a bit of plumbing. And um, any questions from the audience, just to this young startup? So just uh, what, what makes your, I mean, you have a very, there are lots of firms that say that they have a comprehensive solution. I'll do anything that you want us to do for, for, your, for your, your company. Why, what, what makes you different? Why people should trust you when, what, what makes you different from, from all your competitors? Okay, I think, I think our difference uh, uh, um, between our competitors is that uh, you might find uh, some, pe some companies with very good designers that are able to build a uh, very complete and nice looking uh, website, but maybe then when you go to the booking engine underneath or the integrated product, or the, uh, how you load the contracts and maintain the contracts uh, underneath, uh, you find that it's not so strong. So uh, your appearance is really good, but uh, you're not able to sell your product because uh, your booking engine goes slow or, or it doesn't have any functionality. Uh, or maybe you have a great booking engine, but uh, your website is not as friendly as it should be. Or you have both, but uh, you don't have a back office system that will be able to uh, arrange your, your administration processes. So in our case, uh, we do even offer the hosting uh, uh, process for, for, for your website if, if, if you are interested in it. So we are uh, full providers of the whole solution. So if there is a problem with your website, your booking engine, your back office, or your hosting, because all your connectivity, uh, it's the same partner, the same dealer for the whole thing okay so that's it so okay just plumbing from the beginning to the end thank you very much thank you very much thank you Delfinia. so we just continue being just rushing through and sometimes I have a very bad memory sometimes just uh, I see so many presentations that they tend to mix up in my, my mind just uh, I advise you to what the, 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 this, what we call the photo moment just uh, take photos and afterwards go and speak with the people there you should speak with these these, these guys so, next one, just uh, we have a very musical surname and a uh, very Spanish surname, which is uh, Patricia Tchaikovsky. It is uh, Avantio. Patricia, the floor is yours. Thanks. Hello, yeah, my surname is very famous, but a little bit difficult to pronounce, so in every county, not only in Spain. So, yeah, I'm Patricia Tchaikovsky, coming from Avantio Software. We are 17 years in the business and provide a full solution to professional vacation rental agencies. So our story begins uh, also some time ago in 2001. And we are a very local company for the Mediterranean Sea, but now in the last day, um, years we had such a good um, um, expansion to all over the world. So we can say that from, we went from local to global. And that, uh, these numbers can show you this um, exactly. In this moment, we are over 60 workers in Avantio and our headquarters in Valencia. We speak more than 15 languages, also are represented in more than 25 countries all over the world, have more than um, 50 connected portals, booking portals. Some of them are here in the audience. <laughs> and we work with more than 600 professional um, vacation rentals ag agencies. So why? This more than 600 agencies are um, obtained well, once a one year. So, because we're offering a vacation rental management software that can automate nearly 90% of your daily administration work. We are cloud based, very important nowadays. We are secure, multilingual system in German, English, Portuguese, Italian, French, and more. We have task automata automation and we are rule based, so you can manage a large amount of properties with our system. 
Then we have the channel manager, one of the most important products. You can receive booking from all over the world. And we are connected with more than four, uh, 50 partners. And um, we don't pay, uh, you don't have to pay commission for, for Avantius to get connected to the portals. We have two-way connections, so you're fully and instantly synchronized. This is so important nowadays. And we guarantee that you will have no overbookings. The other product are the websites. It's the online responsive booking engine also included. We promote your own brand. It's important to have also your own um, platform. We are having custom projects, of course, um, for the websites. We are fully responsive. We have SEO tools and also a responsive guest area and online check-in tools for the website. So all these three products together are a 360 full solution, an efficient, also a flexible solution for your vacation rental agency. So. These are some of the benefits Avanti would give you. Um, of course, more bookings and more rentability, but are also more returning customers, a professional appearance, and also the reduced time of administration tasks, so you have more free time for your family or going on vacation. So, summing up in some words, Avanti would be dedication because we have a great team. Um, we have a very personal contact to all the agencies. You have only a partner or a person you can speak to Avantio. We have so many partnerships, not only um, with portals, but also with um, Vacation Rental Association all over the world. We are, we are considering ourselves one of the market leaders. We have a lot of experience, and we are also always innovating our products. So if you want Excel and the present and grow in the future, you can come and talk to us at the stand, ISAC stand, and if you're a vacation rental agency, you can use this ITB code and you will get some nice um, offers. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Patricia. Any questions from the audience? Just, I think this is an interesting just um, business model. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I, I have a question myself, I just, I have a, a doubt. Just, I see that the, the point of you have these. Just, uh, you, you, um, you prefer, and of course, it's if, if I'm an agency, why should I just go to, to have my own website instead of just going to the to the big guys like just booking or Airbnb and just I suppose yeah. it's, it's I mean you don't you pay you don't pay commissions, but what in terms of visibility and just uh, and uh, competing, how can you just compete with them? Do, do you compete with them? Do you collaborate with them? How, how do you integrate those things? Well, we always say to the agency, it's so important to have their own website, not only be presenting on portals, because you have to represent your brand on internet. So when a customer wants to book on Booking, they want to see, OK, is the agency really existing? So if you have a website, you show professionalism. So it's very important. Then also, you can do um, SEO, so you can good position on the Google ranking, and you can do a lot of um, other things like, for example, catch new owners, so you can get new properties, and also have a good rate of returning customers, because you can uh, offer you maybe a guest app or something special that makes your website so unique. So yeah, it should have also their own like website to have their own image and brand to the public. So we could just have a further conversation. I don't know whether you, you Axel, would you like to, to put some questions about? Let me just, um, <laughs> let me just uh, add um, a question from the other side. Um, I took a look at your figures, and there was a, a lot of, let's say, scaling going on, lots of growth. How do you handle that, that organization diversity? So many people, so many languages, so many people around different uh, countries. Is there any? Tip, any hint you can give? Well, we are based in Valencia, so most part of the team is in Valencia. And we have different departments, for example, one department for web design, one department for channel management, for same marketing. And within, the, within these departments, we also have like um, account managers. They have their own, um, for example, region or area. So for example, I'm for the DAC region. So we have an inter-organization to, to know exactly, OK, when there's an agency from Portugal, we pass it to the Portugal colleagues so they can speak in Portuguese with them. They will feel very comfortable. So it's also very important, uh, good um, contact. And, yeah. and uh, how do you keep your big picture alive in, every, in the head of uh, every um, 
one working with your company. Is there any any idea, just like meetings personally, or how do you do it? You mean with the agencies no, or with, 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 the, with the workers all ah, together? Yeah, we always do like weekly meetings. Of course, it's so important to be updated to know what uh, is going on in the other departments. Yeah, so the communication is the most important part in our company. So not only using, for example, Slack, but the meetings are very important. So yeah, every week we have minimum one meeting <laughs> to organize. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you have very more meetings today and uh, many more in the, in the future. So we just, uh, our, our next speaker is uh, Pau Ferret uh, from the, the, the company 123 Compare. Please, Pau. Okay, um, we are now in a, in a conversion economy. That means that when we try to sell, we're not just going into a cloudy region where everybody talks to everybody and you don't know what will be the end, but that we currently have enough data to understand what our customers are feeling or how they will end this process. Are they going to close with us or are we doing enough for them to be, uh, to be comfortable with us? It all started in 1975 when the barcode uh, was introduced and we started to pick up that data on how products were moving uh, around the factories and then to the distribution shops. 10 years later, in 1985, we moved this collection of data from products to consumers, creating the loyalty programs. And then we started to understand what consumers wanted. Another 10 years later, we had in 1995, it was the creation of e-commerce with the starting of operations of Amazon and eBay. And then we started even more collecting data about what people wanted. 2000, in the year 2000, more than half of the internet uh, in, the, in the developer world was, uh, well, more than uh, one, the, the, the half of the population in the developed world had internet access. Uh, 10, 2010, uh, mobility uh, was already in full speed with smartphones, and that gave control to the consumers about what they wanted to do, when they wanted to purchase. And now, from 2015, we are on what we call already the conversion economy. It means that we have enough data to understand what our consumers want. But we are not in all industries equal. In fact, in the travel industry, in the, in the hotel industry, only 2.5% of visitors to our websites finish the booking process, that is the purchasing. Uh, in the travel industry as a whole, it goes to 4%, and the, the leader of the pack, who is the finance industry, they go up to 10% 10, uh, 10 of all visitors closing a deal. So we have a long way to go. Not from, two th uh, from the 2.5% to the 100 from, from the 2.5% to the 10%. That means we can have almost four times more closings if we do our job uh, well. So to do that, we propose to our customers that are mainly hotel chains a suite of tools that increase the, pos the probability that the visitors to these pages, they close a booking with them. We have several of them. We uh, uh, we use some or the others depending on the situation of the, of the hotel chain. That's not the same. Uh, it depends on the point that you start. But rate comparison is the most uh, understood because we compare the prices of the hotel booking direct to the price of, of an OTA. So the consumer can see the guest, uh, have full information about all the prices, something that we always like a lot to know so that we make the best decisions. But there are other tools, as we can see here. I will not go one for one, but that's what we propose to hotel chains. The benefits, of course, increase either bookings, that means having control of the, of the final guest. It's very important. Saving in commissions, that is a, 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 big, draw, a big draw on, uh, on finances for hotel chains. It's the second good benefit. Increasing sales also, and of course, having control about disparities on prices. That allows us to get, depending on the starting situation, increases in conversion up to 45% of uh, bookings. Our calling card, what's our presentation? We are currently in 2,500 hotels worldwide, 50 countries. 
we've been we have uh, we've been working on the tourist industry not with this company but with other companies uh, around 14 years so we understand uh, our consumers and we have a portfolio of six products that helps our customers to get this so desired guest in their um, in their funnel that's our uh, presentation card here we have our contact data if you are interested on it thank you Thank you very much. I uh, was not aware of those, those rates of those conversion rates, which is the, the very low in just, uh, the hotel industry just compared. And uh, you say that you just can go from 2.5 to 45 percent. You say that was it that was that correct? We can do that. It depends, of course, the companies who start very low. The probability to go to 45 it's quite a high. From companies who are doing already a very good job, the way we can help them is lower than these ones. And um, just Pao, uh, apart from the just the, the, the advantages in prices, why is are there any more reasons why by just uh, ape hotels and uh, we should buy your your products just um, in terms of? Well, uh, it's a really big advantage. I mean, we, I think we can sell only with that. But you are true. I mean, um, talking about increasing conversion and, and reducing commissions, uh, we are we are attacking the, the the mind of our customer. We're trying to convince them through the reasoning, but it's something the hard. And uh, we have a big impact on loyalties because those customers that come directly through the website are far more loyal than the ones to, uh, who come from the o an OTA. In fact, Expedia uh, explained to everybody in a study in 2015 that only 2% of their customers repeated the same hotel. So if you have a customer that comes uh, through an OTA, it's welcome, of course, but don't count on them to come again to you. So loyalty is the other good uh, great news on that. Loyalty. That's good to hear. We we had a, a, a commercial in Spain, very famous commercial. They used to say, "Busque, compare, y se encuentre algo mejor, comprelo," which means uh, search, compare, and if you find something better, you should buy it. So I think that's that's a, that's a good uh, idea. I didn't know whether you realized that, that this um, hashtag that said shift happens. I just love it. Thank you very much. We'll Thank we'll you. keep on talking. Uh, and now we, we come to our, our final speaker. Just um, that's, uh, please welcome Ruben Vicente from uh, Frutzel Group. Hi, nice to meet you. So 10 years ago, Frutzel started in a garage and now is leading clients worldwide. Some of our direct clients are Qatar Airways. Also we work with FC Barcelona and Saudi Airlines. So what could we offer for you? We offer campaign traffic for your website. We work on display, email marketing. Also, we use social media. We can target your, your audience as much as you would like. And also, we have our creative service to create your banners and also your HTML templates. So we offer customized solutions for your digital marketing campaigns using our experience and our own network. We have two parts of Russell. We have Caravanga, which is our own network, and where buyers and sellers can connect there and check the results. And also, if you are a publisher and you want to promote some of our offers, you will contact with Caravanga with our traffic managers. We'll help you and assist you to get good results. And also, we have Qualiceps. It's the creative part when we create some banners for the brands and the HTML templates also we could create landing pages. So some of our examples of our campaigns, this one is for Saudi Airlines. We work it in Spain. We use content marketing using social media, promoting uh, the offer with some Spanish bloggers. And as you see, we get an higher than a 63% up on the sales. Now we have this offer for Qatar Airways. This is on Belgium. We use email marketing for this one. And we were promoting two destinations from, for them, one to Bangkok, another one to Dubai. And the last one is from Spain. It's uh, our, our special campaign. It's for the whole world. So we move this campaign worldwide using email marketing. So it's we, we sell. We, we sell. You can win two tickets with hotel and flight to go to the match. And this year, we win those two prizes. 
the, the one of the most innovative use of social media is with the campaign of Saudia. And please visit us on, the, on our hall, on our stand 106, or please take a photo and contact us if you have any question or you would like to, to just talk about your, your offers, if you are in a hotel or you are looking for some info about starting some digital campaigns, also contact us, please. Well, also very impressive these these awards and um, and any any questions? Just I I I, I like the, your presentation, but just I have to admit I'm just I'm not a great supporter of uh, of Barcelona of Barca in football. Just I'm follower of Atlético de Madrid, which is um, the best team in the world. But anyway, just we'll forgive you about that. And um, any questions from the public? Just from the audience? No. What makes you just? We've seen the awards, and we've seen your your the talking, your presentation. But what really makes you different in the way you you you, you worked to all the marketing, sales, just uh, online marketing agencies? So first of all, our experience on the market, and also a way to to be with the clients. We tried it to be more personal. So visiting the client, also speaking every day with some of them, to see how the campaign is going, and also on the other part with the publishers. We, our traffic team speak with them every day to see how we can increase the results, get better also, so more personalized, more being more, it's people which you are talking, not only a screen and you are typing words. So we try to be more personal. Um, from a marketing perspective, are you more a data guy or a creative guy? Uh, I'm more, think a creative guy, not, not from the part of technical. But, but the, the, um, the change that happens to marketing nowadays is that you have to add data analytics and get the best results by experimenting, yeah, also, by testing. You, you're doing that? You're strong in that job? Yeah, we, we have our platform. It's our own. It's developed by, by us. And also we are uh, creating a new one to get better results using mobile because now the, the world is changing. You can do everything with your mobile. So now we want to start there. And uh, that's, that's the part where we could manage the results and check it's everything is going right or, or not. Also, we can testing there and this kind of things. So great uh, kind of integration, the different marketing approaches. Thank you very much. So now? So now we have um, just uh, ten, about 10 minutes, and I would just ask all the speakers to come to the, to the stage. OK. No. Well, please do take a seat. We, it's going to be short and, and, and painless, I hope. That, um, so now you have all the speakers there is are there any questions from the audience anything that you'd like to, any topic that you'd like to raise any any questions you have about um, as you've seen we have very many different business models and very many different products and services but um, just um, from from online marketing to just pipeline and uh, and uh, just uh, the management of the, the just uh, rental um, agencies and, and all that any any questions any ideas that you'd, you'd like to raise no? In that case, just, uh, I'll just, would you like to shoot or just, uh, shall I just? Uh. So I, I would be interested in, in the topic, what is the, the, the Spanish startup scene all about? Is there something special happening? So we are here in Berlin, kind of the, the startup city of, uh, of Germany. What is the, 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 yeah, the st startup capital of, of Spain? And, What's happening there? How's the spirit going? Maybe just once. I'll okay. Maybe I'm not the best, ex best example for, <laughs> for you. <laughs> yes, I think so. Okay. Uh, uh, I think the startup phenomenon is, is growing up all over the world. And, and, and in Spain, it, it, it's the same. And maybe Barcelona is uh, one of the places where where, there, where more 
uh, the biggest number of startups is, is growing, uh, and mostly in the, in the tourism part, um, uh, and then also Madrid and Valencia. But, but uh, I, I think I, I think that there are. Uh, I, I am the first to to um, to identify lots of new things that can be done every day in the tourism sector, and which is the one I, I know better. But um, but uh, I'm sure there are uh, millions of things to do, and we are going to be surprised by the big number of, of uh, uh, startup companies that are growing up now. If I, if I may, just I think that as you, your question is very relevant, but um, and and the startup. Um, sorry, just do I hear myself in the echo? That's that's correct. Thanks very much. And. Um, the startup system is very just is diversified, as, as um, uh, Sebastian said. Barcelona and, uh, and and Madrid and Valencia, there are just uh, different startups. What I think it is, is 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 significant of the Spanish startup system is precisely this travel tech sector, because we are we are a very strong in, in in tourism. We we have been there, and you have the clients. You just you have the just the, the companies, and you have the final clients, and you just and of course, I mean, if you haven't done so, just I would like you to I would advise. To go to to hall 2.1, where we have these uh, the tour of Spain, we have our big booth, and you'll have the the, 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 the possibility. So we have just particularly, uh, particularly in, in in terms of travel tech, the Spanish. Just if you're thinking about um, going to somewhere, and you not only about for not only for the weather or something like that, because Berlin is fantastic, but just we one has to admit that living here just from November till March. But it's not the nicest weather in the But apart from that, the travel sector is it's a, it's a sector that uh, offers good opportunities and particularly very good partners. And that's, that's, my, that's my take. And um, so just, just to sum it up, just a very quick round. What are you looking for in this ITB? Are you looking for partners, investors, clients, uh, uh, connections? So we basically we are looking for clients, also for some publishers, everyone we, who has a database, or a web page, please contact us. We can run some offers there, and that's it. We are looking for us. What about you, Pau? Uh, we come here to contact hotel chains, basically, so we're looking for clients. Mm, I, I had a startup before, and it was maybe too much focused on investors, and then you lose the important thing that is to, to satisfy your clients. So I'm just looking for clients. And Isabel? We have been meeting prospects and also current clients, and also we have tried to expand our network of partners. No, no, but listen, nobody's looking for investors, nobody's looking for money, which is just me coming from the financial sector just is surprising. But yeah, we are um, looking for potential agencies, but also visiting the partners potential partners, actual partners, and very important, the clients. The client contact is so important, and it's such a nice event, so you can see the clients from all over the world, so it's a great opportunity for us. In, in our case for Pipeline Software, um, which is our second year in ITB, and um, it, what we really like here is that uh, we get lots of uh, customer contacts, but uh, we also have the chance to uh, walk around and see what people are doing, uh, some companies are doing all over the world, and what are the latest uh, uh, technologies and what people are working on. And that is very important for us, because uh, you have the chance to really see how things are going and, 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 and what the future is going to look like. Just talking about the future, one shouldn't make any predictions, especially about the future, but uh, I would like just to, I, I would like to, so that you have the microphone and you have 29 years of experience, you've been through all the different waves in, just in this, this uh, industry, and uh, which do you think just is going to be the next big thing in, in, in this industry, which are the main challenges that you, you, you'll see? In terms of, we, we see just in terms of trends in the market, we, we are seeing just a consolidation, just a big consolidation, the big OTAs, OTAs and how you fight them. And um, just uh, on, the, on the, the other side, we just seen the specialization and, and, and the company just trying to find very specific niches. Which do you think are the, 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 just the main thing that's going to be in the next five years? Okay. Um, uh, if we make history, um, uh, okay, in, in uh, 1989 when we started to work, uh, 
um, our main duty with a customer was to try to explain him why he had to, why he needed a computer in his uh, company, right? <laughs> so wow, 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 just going, just going so, far, so far back. Things, things, things have really changed. <laughs> um, okay, um, I, I agree that uh, globalization is ta going is taking uh, big uh, companies uh, to to really lead and and stay by themselves. We have really uh, um, uh, immersive uh, uh, giants uh, uh, that work globally. But uh, I, I still think that uh, I, I'm, I'm really surprised and, and I, I have uh, a great curiosity to see how artificial intelligence and robotics are going to come into the uh, touristic sector. And I think that uh, for the robotics uh, 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 technologies, uh, I, I think we're really going to be surprised in the very, uh, I guess this is not something that's going to come in 10 years, 15 years time. I'm, I'm convinced that in a couple of years, we, we are going to go to a travel agency and we're going to find a robot there trying to inform us, uh, trying to help us in the, in the buying process. And, and, and uh, I, I think th things are going to change greatly in the, in the very uh, next uh, time. Uh, that's, that's one of the, the, the things. And, and Patricia, Patricia, I'm just I'm curious about to, how do you deal with that? Just uh, some very touchy issues that, uh, and have different, because you are, you're in different markets, and every market has different fiscal um, just um, situation. And of course, with the rental apartments, we've seen all the just debate about what's going on. How do you deal? Do you, do, do you get at all into those, those matters or, or not? Of course, every market has their special needs, so we are offering a um, um, universal solution, but for each market we did this, the special needs, so we make developments and we are putting the products for the special needs of each region. So we are working on this. We not only uh, one solution now, our solution is very flexible and um, involving. Yeah, from every month there are new features, new developments, so it's a very dynamic system that is changing. Also, the technology is changing and the needs, so we have to be on the top of this. That's interesting. In one way, just the market is getting more globalized, but sometimes you just you have very specific needs and you have to adapt. And one of the things that we, we do have is flexibility and adapt adaptability. Could you just tell us, um, Isabel, about that? Your, 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 just, uh, your plans in, in Asia, you just mentioned you're going to open Hong Kong. How do you see the, the Asian market different to the, to the, 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 the European ones and the, the, the markets in which you already are? Well, we adapt. We make the software as many customizable as we can to make our clients themselves to adapt the solution to their specific uh, needs. That's, that's why this is how we make the software adaptable to all the markets. Our clients themselves are able to control all the tiny changes to be ready to launch to the market, to their markets. Thank you very much. And Paul, just what, what do you think? It's, what's, what's your nightmare? I mean, just I mean, in terms of your business, of course. How do what what, what do you think? Just what's your main challenge? What could be the main challenge to one to 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 your to your business model? Well, it, my main challenge is the one that I'm uh, every day fighting for, and it's to understand exactly how my focused customer, who is hotel chain, what are they exactly needs, what they will love to have in their hands. That's what I always, when I have an interview with them and, and, and ask them, okay, that's what I do, but what do you really need? What will be your dream? And that's to, to, uh, do not losing this focus is my, my, my goal and my main focus. Thank you very much. And just, uh, Ruben, we, we find this, we, we just, we end up with this, this round and um, how do you think, what do you think is going to be relevant in the, the next um, years in the marketing this, um, scene? But do you think, do you see any kind of big trends that going, are going to happen? Just do you think that the artificial intelligence or these robo advisors are going to eliminate these kind of things that's going to be just, you have to, to have a personal advisor, just a robot that will just advise you, and will just not need a... a I, I think the next step will be an uh, intelligence artificial to help you to know more about this market because marketing is a new world, and someone to assist you, it's, it's the, what everyone needs. Every day, 
a lot of people ask me, how can I do this? How can I do get these results? Can you help me? Can you? And now, so I'm going to lose my job, I think. <laughs> right. Uh, that, that's something that, that worries us. Uh, just, uh, this is the first time I've seen this, this uh, pavilion, this whole robots there. So just uh, be aware they're coming. The robots are coming. Well, thank you very much. We thank you very much for your attention. Just for any, any conversation we just hear in, in uh, the, just, uh, the booth 106, 106. Just uh, um, 106, just remember 106, which it sounds like 106, 106, 106, if you say. So if you have any, any queries or just uh, any interesting conversations, we'll be there. Thank you very much for your attention, and we'll stay in touch.